Hello everyone, welcome back to Poppy Seed Mini. Today, I'll be showing you how to make a spindle back bench for your dollhouse. And stay tuned to the end to see what I make out of a couple of cookie cutters. Let's get crafting. To start, take two skinny sticks and mark them every four eighths, moving out from the center. Next, cut six skinny round dolls in half. They should be three inches long. Take your glue gun and glue the three inch dowels down on the first and last marks on the two skinny sticks. Check to see if it's square before gluing on the rest. Clean up your hot glue and make sure to get rid of any strings. Then paint one side and two more skinny sticks black with acrylic paint. Glue the black sides together. I just did it wrong. You want the paint on the inside because it's hard to paint after it's glued together. Glue another skinny stick to the top and cut and glue small pieces for the sides. Do the same on the bottom. Then take some black foam board and cut a rectangle five and seven eighths by two and five eighths. Use a craft stick as a guide to round the front corners. Cut a thin strip of black cardstock and glue it around the sides and front of the foam seat. Glue the back onto the seat. Make sure it reclines slightly. I hold it while the glue is still not dry so that it reclines slightly. Wow, I made a mess with the glue. Glue another skinny stick to the back for support. You don't have to do this but I'm going to add another skinny stick to the front to cover my ugly glue job. Take more skinny dowels and cut four to one and three fourths of an inch. Then poke holes in the side of the seat about three fourths of an inch apart. Take a regular craft stick and cut it for the arm rest. Use the first one as a pattern to cut the second one. Poke your holes and add the dowels on the other side. I used a quick dry glue instead of hot glue for this part. Glue the arm to the dowels and then to the back of the bench. Then glue the other side. Once the arms are dry, Flip the seat over and glue two skinny sticks about a fourth of an inch from the edge of the front and the back. Cut four three inch long pieces from a dowel for the legs. Sand the ends. You'll need three more skinny dowels for this part of the project. Glue the front legs on then glue one of the dowels to the two legs about a half an inch from the ends. Then turn it around and glue the back legs on the same way. Cut the last skinny dowel into two, two and a fourth inch long pieces and glue them to the sides of the legs on both sides. Add some extra hot glue to the legs for support. Clean up the hot glue strings. Now I'm going to use a black acrylic paint to paint the whole bench. All right, are you ready to see what you can do with some round cookie cutters and a couple of craft sticks? I really like those round metal wall shelves that I see on Pinterest and I thought how fun would it be to make them for the dollhouse? I bought this set of cookie cutters on Amazon. I'll add the link in the description box below. I'm going to add two shelves 
to the large cookie cutter. Take the cookie cutter and make two sets of marks to use as a guide to cut the craft sticks. Cut the craft sticks and sand the edges. Make sure the joint of the cookie cutter is on the bottom. Holding the cookie cutter and the shelf at hot glue to the edge of the craft sticks and push into place. Glue in the bottom shelf and then the top shelf. Use the same technique only adding one shell to make a medium and small version. I want the shelves to have a little bit more of a galvanized look. So I'm going to use some watered down white acrylic paint and I'm dabbing it with my paintbrush and then I'm going to dab it again with a paper towel to remove any extra paint. Now, let's see how they look on the wall. We sure hope you enjoyed this episode of Poppy C Mini. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And have fun crafting. <laughs>